Okay, so I've been putting off uh, purchasing a mouse for quite a while and um, I finally went ahead and purchased some of the best mice that are out there. Uh, this is mostly for productivity. I don't play games and I'm not doing any um, Adobe Premiere or photo editing works. It's just for office applications. Mostly Excel and a lot of PDF documents um, that require a lot of scrolling. So what I have been using in the past, I would say 10 plus year, has been this uh, Logitech M510. It's a pretty decent mouse. I had no issues with that and does the basics, basically a scroll, uh, forward, back, forward buttons, and that's pretty much about it. Um, there is no horizontal scroll and uh, in, in order to activate a horizontal scroll, you just press uh, the scroll wheel and uh, move the mouse left and right, then it does the horizontal scroll. Um, one of the main issues that I had with this one was that uh, because this wheel is made of plastic and doesn't have the free uh, scroll, so you have to basically the scrolling doesn't feel as comfortable if you're scrolling like hundreds and hundreds of pages. So and also it's been used for quite a while and this plastic is starting to become like quite uncomfortable and sticky. So this one let's just weigh this one this one weighs um, with the batteries two AA batteries about 133 grams so it's not the the lightest mouse but it felt quite comfortable in hand it is uh, you can use it pretty much with both hands as well and it has a, a very natural uh, relaxed uh, arch over here so I've been using it for, as I said, quite a while and I had no issues with that except for the scrolling part. So I, of course, this is um, some of the most famous mice out, out there for productivity. And uh, for the first one I got was this uh, a Microsoft Surface Art Mouse. I really like the simplicity and design of it and um, I've been using it for some time, a week now. And overall, I don't have any major issues with that except that uh, it does not have forward and backward buttons and that's pretty important to me. The reason I got this one was that one, it was really simple design. It does take AAA batteries, um, but the scrolling is, uh, you know, you can basically, there's no wheel over here, so you can touch pretty much anywhere and get the scrolling done. Of course, it doesn't have the fast scrolling, but Basically, you can just touch with this finger or this finger up and down. Um, you can go uh, 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 left and right. You can pan left and right with these, which is quite convenient. But that's about it. There's no other features to it. And the other issue I had with this one was that the click was rather, uh, it takes a lot of force. It's not as uh, light. And in terms of comfort in your hand, it's, the comfort is really not that great so maybe if you have tiny hands and you can just uh, when you put it in your palm and it your fingers come up to this point it might be okay for you but uh, for larger hands this is going to be really odd so for me the most comfortable part would be to hold it like this but if i hold it like this my fingers are like right here so and i guess you could use it but it is not you know this this part right here when you put it this is going to start cutting into your hand as well so i think this is overall a very very clever design and the material is really nice the color is great and uh, you can basically uh, shut it off uh, and like this and you can put it in your pocket if you're traveling and it's uh, very lightweight i think it's um, even with the batteries it only weighs 100, uh, sorry, 83 grams. So not a bad choice for traveling, uh, but I don't think this is uh, really intended for heavy office use. And this is the box and came with it. Um, nothing, it's just uh, some paperwork. And uh, the batteries were already in this device. And that's it, pretty straightforward, simple, beautiful design, beautiful colors, but uh, not very practical for heavy use. Um, my next mouse that I, I got recently was uh, this Logitech MX Master. Um, 
as I said, I've been using this one for a while. So all of a sudden going from this height to this one felt quite odd at first. It does, still does. So if you look at the how it covers the hand is it covers pretty much the entire palm of the hand. And the way it arc is that it there's a it goes up quite high and then there's all of a sudden there's a quite steep drop here which is I'm not really fully convinced if this is the the most comfortable thing so you put it in your hand you feel like your palm drops very sharply so I wish it was not this sharp and it was extending a little bit back then it would not feel like this kind of awkward position but on the other other hand like you know it as uh, it has uh, all the bells and whistles that you can find on a high end mouse the scrolling the scroll wheel is absolutely amazing so if you press this button it becomes this ratchet mechanism and when you spin it basically removes it from it and starts scrolling or you can basically have what i prefer a smooth scroll so i just like to have it like this way um, for a lot of office Excel work, this uh, side scroll is quite useful. I would say I haven't been using it too much, but it's it's nice to have. It is rather like, uh, I think it goes rather too fast, but it's nice to have. My other issue with this one was these uh, forward and backward buttons, which are not, I would say, the best material. They don't feel really good in your hand. I mean, compared to these buttons, which were... Uh, much bigger and uh, you can feel them quite easily I don't really think that this is uh, the best design for these two scroll um, forward and backward buttons one more uh, button it has is that when you press this uh, your thumb downwards you can have all your windows pop up on the screen and of course all of these uh, can be customized uh, since I'm using a work computer we are limited into what software we can download and so uh, I'm gonna have to just rely on whatever the basic uh, functions are so um, the other main advantages of um, this one was that it has a rechargeable battery in it and this is USB-C so no micro USB no batteries just pure USB-C and I already have a, a ducky keyboard using um, USB-C so I could use that to charge this device overall a great mouse except that i feel that the angle at this point is rather sharp um, but it feels quite good in terms of your weight this is the heaviest so this one weighs 142 grams okay so then this one came in this box here and let's just uh, show you what's inside the box uh, not much it just has uh, this came with this box sitting here and um, some paperwork and it is a USB C to uh, USB cable for charging and uh, this one you can use via Bluetooth or it came with the, the dongle which I prefer so that's what I'm using with the laptop right now. One thing I did notice with uh, the Surface Arc mount, the Bluetooth mouse, was then when you put your PC into sleep, um, I was able to, uh, uh, with this mouse and with this one, you can wake it up once the you move the mouse. But with this Bluetooth mouse, it doesn't seem to um, wake it up. I haven't tried it with this yet, but I can give it a try right now. nope it doesn't wake up so with this mouse it's gonna wake up your uh, computer I guess that's something you can change in the settings but because of the restrictions on our computer we probably not able to fix that so now we go to the surface precision mouse now Compare uh, just the feel of the mouse in your hand. This one is absolutely the best. The material here is, I don't know if it's aluminum or plastic, but 
this feels a lot smoother a lot comfortable in your hand and you can see the difference when you put this in your palm there's no sharp angle like this one so your palm is basically quite natural the way i think i've been used to the mouse so it's a it's a very natural curve over here so there's no sharp angle like like this one is like this so this is just sits very comfortable in your hand the moment you put it in your hand you really feel like relaxed this one because of the shape of the mouse here you're and they, that's why i believe they didn't make this material because if they put this material on this one your palm will just slide off so they have to put this rubberized material to make your hand kind of like stick but the feeling of the mouse to touch this is way better um, so in terms of the features on this one so it does have forward and backwards so this button that basically actuates here to pull up all your windows the Microsoft just gives you three buttons here and if you notice that the buttons on um, the forward backward buttons I much prefer these uh, kind of aluminum buttons than these plastic ones and uh, they're a little bit longer as well so kind of easy to actuate as well um, in terms of clicking this has more probably satisfying sound than this one but not much difference um, the scroll is very similar so here you can do the smooth scrolling or if you want to have ratchet mechanism it makes quite a big clunky sound when you press this uh, then it goes uh, this ratchet mechanism but once you're in this position there's no like uh, infinite scrolling so you have to press this button and then scroll so uh, one thing as you can see is that when you have this on free scroll infinite scroll you press this one this keeps scrolling and it it actually goes a lot more down in your files than this one this one does pretty it scrolls quite a bit but even though it is not scrolling your screen is scrolling so this is kind of like maybe it doesn't really make a difference because you are achieving the scrolling here you scroll and the wheel is scrolling the screen is scrolling here when you scroll down the wheel is not scrolling all the way but the screen still scrolls so this is a bluetooth mouse so it doesn't have any 4g dongle um, and the other thing i don't like of this one came in this box is that uh, it has a micro USB so that's quite uh, I would say sad that this doesn't have the USB-C uh, that's all it came in so it's just yes horrible so this is a the micro USB Ugh well at least it's a white cable so oh, micro USBs are notoriously difficult to yeah figure out okay I mean for a hundred dollar mouse this is uh, a shame that they're still using uh, micro USB anyway so um, let's put this back here okay I'll take your fighter and in terms of weight one hundred and thirty eight grams one hundred forty two grams so not much weight difference but uh, in terms of comfort I am quite uh, debating which one to go with I definitely like the the horizontal scroll um, which not I don't use it all the time but occasionally it's good to have it I don't like the buttons I like the scrolling infinite scrolling on this one but the feel of the mouse in the palm I think which is probably the most important thing in a mouse goes to the surface precision mouse now I mean there's a lot of vi reviews and videos on this and everybody raves about this mouse and sometimes what happens is you know something becomes as popular and more and more people are reviewing it so it becomes famous so that's why I wanted to give this one uh, a try and nobody actually reviews it and not many people said good things about it and I think overall I, I'm kind of liking the the feeling of this mouse and I'm probably 
I'm gonna go with uh, this one. So I will test these maybe um, one week more and see how um, I like it. But overall, this one is a winner in terms of comfort. Uh, this one is a winner in terms of the the features of horizontal scroll and uh, the the wheel on this one. All right, so that's it for this video. And if you have any comments or suggestions, uh, please put them in the comment section below. Thank you.